very much to everyone for having come here. This is the second uh, event we organize in Neuromind. And the title, as you know, is uh, Perpetual Nationalism. Euromind is a uh, forum for reflection and uh, debate. And uh, we try to go uh, down to uh, the essence of the different issues that uh, politicians have to face nowadays. The good news is that uh, there have never, there's never been more information available to politicians in neurosciences, uh, anthropology, before, well, and even nowadays, most uh, politicians take decisions based on opinions that are more or less are documented. Sometimes it's just a whim, sometimes it's ideology or religion, but nowadays we have much more information, especially when we refer to issues such as those that we are going to be speaking of today, uh, nationalisms, but also migration, uh, gender issues, religion, many things. So, perpetual nationalisms. Well, to the uh, classical a question of who am I to, or who am I, uh, there's, you can add the question of who are we? Now, what happens is that quite often, we are something in opposition to what our neighbors are. And uh, quite often, the group loyalty comes in the same package with the uh, animosity vis-a-vis -vis the neighboring group. So the only way that we have of overcoming this is to find ways of establishing identities that encompass uh, more, for example, frameworks of uh, uh, sentimental accession to different communities, uh, Castile, uh, then Spain, then Europe, ever larger. Uh, uh, though some humanists uh, say that it's the uh, extension of the moral circle. Now, it looked as though we were going along the right path, that we had understood that it was a lot better to center ourselves in the issues that uh, join us than uh, to insist on the differences that separate us. But what we're seeing now is a revival of uh, old um, parochial uh, opinions and more extremist uh, views uh, to the extent that uh, we can find ourselves, uh, for example, situations such as Catalonia, my land, where people that uh, until a short while ago, we considered ourselves to be brothers and sisters. Well, now it looks like uh, we can't live together. Uh, even hatred uh, many times, and unfortunately, uh, brings down the, uh, the structures that had uh, been established beforehand for us to live in. So um, ideas such as uh, citizenship, uh, pacts, agreements, we thought that those were the words that were going to prevail, and suddenly the... Uh, the past reappears. We had perhaps uh, forgotten what uh, of, uh, human nature, we had forgotten about uh, human nature and what that represents. And we discovered that uh, social sciences and uh, politics were based on a level playing field, which the only thing that it was doing was a hiding uh, pit of which only nowadays are we really receiving true uh, worthwhile information. Now, uh, psychology is helping to uh, uh, throw light on issues that uh, social sciences uh, had not thrown light on before. The nationalisms, which is uh, one of the issues we'll be discussing today, is one of the ways that uh, social uh, conduct is crystallized. Now, we want to understand this phenomenon a lot better. We want to avoid the deterioration and destruction of uh, living together in Europe, where we see that uh, nationalisms are resurging. Now, only if we understand the keys can we draw closer together amongst ourselves to close wounds or to avoid wounds reopening. Because as we might see today, the uh, original idea forms part of this uh, us we, that uh, we are going to be talking about today. In order to help us understand these links that uh, attach the individual to a group, we have three exceptional speakers. We have Professor Aldolf Tobenya. We have Professor Karsten de Dreux. And Mark van Vucht. We also have uh, Jacobo de Rebollos, a journalist who hasn't arrived yet. He must have got lost. And he's uh, going to help us to present the different speakers and to moderate the final debate. 
So since uh, Jacobo has still not arrived, I think that it'll be a lot better if we, uh, if we get uh, Adolf to start to uh, explain his uh, presentation. Thank you very much, Adolf.